In this video, we'll be going over mouse preferences. If you have a mouse with a wheel, you can configure it via the Configure, Preferences, General, then Mouse. And from here, you can configure the mouse to do any of the following three actions. One is Time Shift, and this moves the time period from left to right. You can also adjust the bar width, which changes the width of the price bars. And you can control vertical spacing, which adds removed space from the top and bottom of the graph. So let's go through this. So right now, by default, the wheel action is set to time shift. And the alt wheel action is set to bar width. So if we keep the alt button down while we scroll the mouse wheel, we'll get the bar width action. So let's click. OK. Now if I scroll up, you'll notice there's a time shift happening to the left. And if I scroll it down, there's a time shift happening to the right. If I hold down the Alt key and then scroll up, I'm essentially zooming in to the graph. And if I scroll down, I am pretty much zooming out. So this is known as adjusting the bar width. Now let's go back. Click on mouse. Let's take a look at vertical spacing. Let's click apply. OK. So now if I scroll up, you notice the chart compresses vertically. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that it expands vertically. And what we're essentially doing is we're changing the available space available at the top and at the bottom of the graph. Let's go back to Configure, Preferences, General, Mouse. Let's put this back to Time Shift. We have the option here of Invert. And what that does is whatever action happens when you scroll the mouse up will now happen when you scroll it down. And what initially happened when it scrolled down will now happen when you scroll it up. So if I were to do time shift, I'm actually reversing the action of the mouse wheel. So if I scroll up now on the mouse wheel, it scrolls to the right instead of the left. And now if I scroll the wheel down, it scrolls left instead of right. So it just flips the actions of the mouse wheel. So let's go back. Configure Preferences, General Mouse. Let's put this back uh, to the way it was. Of course, we also have the option here of disabling the mouse wheel by clicking on the Disable Mouse Wheel field, clicking OK, and now it doesn't work. We also have mouse click options, and these can be configured via the Configure, Preferences, Chart, Chart Settings, tab and you'll notice you have three options here that relate to mouse click options you have the shift plus click the command plus click on the Mac this would be control plus click on the PC and then you have command plus alt plus click on the Mac which would be control plus alt plus click on the PC so by default the shift click will create a text box the command click will create a price guide and command alt click will create a vertical line so let's just do those really quickly so shift click it's text we have control click which produces the price guide and control alt click will create the time guide now of course these lines here are created at the location of the mouse so let's just erase all this Let's take a look at what other options we have there. Configure Preferences, Chart, Chart Settings. So we also have No Action, a price guide we over, we've already seen. Let's change this to Horizontal Line. Uh, maybe this one, uh, Time Guide we've done already. We can do Vertical Line. And here, uh, we've already had Vertical Line, so maybe we could change this to We've done text, and let's do note. 
So horizontal line, vertical line, and note. So shift click. Here's your horizontal line. Command click. There's your vertical line. And control alt click. There's your note. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's go back. Chart, chart settings. Now there's other options here as well. Feel free to uh, try them out. Uh, but you have uh, box callout, balloon callout, line callout, annotation, and curly annotation. At the top here, you'll notice two fields, the default tool and the revert to default tool. At the top here, we have the different mouse tools available. And right now, we have the time drag tool set as a default tool. By having the revert to default tool field selected, if we change the mouse tool on our chart and then click on the space bar, by clicking on the space bar, it will revert to the tool listed here. So if I were to change the mouse tool to the select tool and now click on my space bar, you'll now see that it reverts back to the selected mouse tool, which in this case is the time drag tool. Now you can also use the mouse along with the control key to drag a component to create a copy of it. And for example, this can be very useful for to create a line that is parallel to another line. So let's select the line tool. And now if I control click drag, you'll notice that I've created a copy of it. So there's a quick shortcut using the mouse. Okay, so that's it for mouse preferences, and we'll see you in the next video.